Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. God bless you today. It is Sunday, September 27th. I do hope that you have a great Sunday today. Now, some new news this morning. Uh, things are changing. Good news is I'm not showing hurricane force winds anywhere. So that's a good thing uh, so far. Uh, bad news is we might have more than one system, guys. I'm showing that we, we got a possibility of Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon coming into the East Coast, coming into uh, hitting land, or at least affecting it in some way. Plus, I'm showing that there's also a possible nor'easter that will be happening in the Northeast that could bring one to three inches of snowfall in Maine, and it could be anywhere from two to five inches in New Brunswick. So that's a possibility. It could turn over to rain quickly, but we'll have to see it. It's still a little bit away. Now, let me go through what I do have for you. I do have a few things I want to show you because there's a lot of uh, confliction going on with these models. I want y'all to tell me, y'all pretty smart people, uh, I'd like to know what y'all think about these storms. Now, if we go to the Euro, we can finally see some things on Euro. If you go to the 138 hour, had somebody yesterday who said he didn't understand uh, what the numbers I was talking about. Each one of these is, is a six hour interval. Now, if you go to the 138 hour, you'll see that a low starts forming off the coast of the Carolinas right there. And it starts getting a little bit uh, more organized. You'll see that better on WSV3. You'll see the winds that is coming with this. But moisture is bringing with it as well. And this moisture could bring some snowfall to New Brunswick and Maine. I'll show you that also as it moves away. Another thing I wanted to show you. This was the possibility of the snowfall, and this is on the GFS model. This is at 276. Uh, you can see the snow starts to fall down on the 276Z, but then you'll see that it comes freezing rain. You get freezing rain, and you get snow. The pink is the freezing rain part. Now, all this right here is not in U.S., but this right here in your corner, you have, you have Maine and you have New Brunswick. Now, as it drops, you'll see that some of the snow has turned back to rain, but New Brunswick gets heavy snowfall up there in the corner. So you could get the three to five inches, is what I showed on WSV3. I'll show you that. Also, it does switch back over to rain. But this system stays over the whole Northeast for two or three days. That's why I said it could be a possible nor'easter effect with this system, because come the next uh, evening, you can see snowfall, possibility of snowfall falling again. And once again, it don't stick around. So it will be falling. How long you will have it, eh, that's questionable. But you will see it in those areas. Now, if we go over the tropical tidbits before I show you uh, what I found. If you look at tropical tidbits, you will see a lot of, of action going on. You see a lot of lows. You see a lot of... Cold weather, this, this blue line this is your cold temperatures moving in. Now, as you watch the rain fall in, this is our low pressure that I just showed you that's going up to the east coast, going up to the northeast. And then this is the cold air, this blue line uh, digging deep right here, that's going to be moving in behind it. Now, after the storm comes, it's going to be a matter of time because it's going to be so close to each other on whether it's going to turn to rain or stay a snowfall. Now, these, these cold winds do stay over the northeast for quite some time. That's why that next morning it showed it as well. Now, if you keep going, you'll see that the formation of our Gulf hurricane, you see how you got another low, pops up. Cold, cold weather is right on his heels with that high. And it, whether the snowfall falls down here, we'll have to wait and see. It's a little too far, but WSV3 does give you a little bit more date. But our Gulf hurricane, it turns down to a little bit calmer. I'm showing that it's probably going to be a tropical storm. And as, as, as what we got so far is it's going to clip Miss, uh, Miami and then head out into the Atlantic Ocean. And you can see the snowfall start to fall down in the northeast over here. This is a possibility. I do hope it happens. I know everybody loves their snowfall, and I do as well. But here it goes past Miami, and you'll see it as it floats by. And heads out to the Atlantic Ocean. We have another system that flows in after that, bring possible snowfall as well as freezing rain. And you can see as it 
as it drops heavy snowfall, the temperatures are not quite there, so they don't stick around. It turns into rain right afterwards. But there's a possibility if this storm, if this system does slow down, that those temperatures will be there. But if you notice that it is, it is a possible nor'easter up there in the corner. It just spins and spins for a few days, dropping snowfall, dropping sleet, dropping rain. I mean, a whole mixture of everything will be coming to y'all shortly. Let me show you on place so you can see exactly what it is that we're dealing with. Now, as the system start moving, this one right here moves to the northeast. We have another system that comes behind it, and that comes with the cold air. Now, that's so, that system behind it, that second push, is going to bring the possibility of your snowfall. Now, as that forms up, see it quickly forms up. It drops snow up there. We have our gulf. Uh, storm coming up then we have another low coming across the top that's bringing another snow over to the north I mean it is a lot going on if you look at it at all at one time Now if you go to the Gulf, I have you on GFS. This is the 222nd hour You can see that the system starts moving towards Miami and cat 2 is usually around the highest millibar be around the 964 and it don't get nowhere near that it don't even leave the 90s it goes down to 991 it clips Miami, then moves to Atlantic. This is it here. Now, this is a 264 hour. You can see it just moves away. It don't come back uh, to land. Now, if you go to the Euro model, you go to the 210 hour. The Euro is showing that it don't quite have organization going on with it to where it has a center until you get around the 240 hour, which is unfortunately the last hour that we get on the Euro. But it shows that it does take a while, but it does show that it does form something up in that area. So we'll have to wait and see on that as well. Now, if you go to the GFS and you go to the 198 hour, you will see everything with this low pressure and the cold winds that are that are pushing with it. There's a nice high up there that, that's keeping it down, and that's why it spins in the northeast. So we have we have I think we have four systems coming, definitely three. The high pushes that one away. Here's the other system right here. You can see that, that traveling from uh, Miami. It goes right past Miami. It forms up past Miami. Okay. And then it moves away. It goes off to the northeast. And it don't come back. Then we have another system that pops up as this one's moving away and this goes to the northeast and this is the one that's going to bring you the possibility of, of of more snow so that's a good thing but i don't know if the temperatures are going to be there or not now this one is your wsv3 this one's showing you the 10 meter winds of of damaging winds of, of what a storm system to be called now usually you need a center uh a center center point of the system it has to have, you know, rotation so it can be called a storm. But I'm showing that gamma actually has a possibility of being the first low that goes across because it goes to 41 miles per hour. It's not a whole bunch, but it is a tropical storm. And then it will mo move away into the northeast. All right. And then that, the second one, as you watch it come by, let me fast forward it for you. You'll see a little flare up in the northeast now, i don't know if they're going to pay too much attention to this because it's just one quick flare-up but that flare-up is uh tropical storm conditions so uh, whether it's going to be a system right there or not we got to wait and see and at the same time here's our golf system down here and that one's showing that it's only flaring up to a tropical storm as well so the good news is potential no more hurricanes so that would be great i know everybody's always talking about oh we're gonna get rapid the waters are so warm well i'm showing it gets up to 50 miles an hour and, and that's about it i'm not showing hurricane force winds uh with this system there you go so that's a good thing because the last thing we want is another hurricane coming with us but we, we'll have to wait and see this is all the way on the seventh and it moves through it goes out to the atlantic ocean there's a good chance that this could actually curve uh even earlier and hit over Cuba, hit more of Bahamas than what it's doing on this model, and go out and not hit Miami at all. That is a possibility. Now, as you move the storm through, 
you'll see also on the, the possible nor'easter that's going to be in the northeast that's going to be dropping some more snow it flares up as well to hurricane not sorry not hurricane tropical storm strength as well and it's going to be right around uh maine and new brunswick area before it starts getting its strength and that's where it started doing the snowfall but it's clearly uh, going to be a tropical storm strength whether it has a center rotation that's questionable but at the same time you got another one out here let's see if we can back that up a little bit more where i can see it so we have tropical storm strength coming with this one and this one down here is tropical depression it was tropical storm strength but not anymore so that's really good but i'm not showing it's going to be a landfall with much of these the northeast is going to get uh the blunt end of it uh, most of all if you ask me because they're getting all these systems at once if you watch it move you'll see what i'm talking about let me start it over and as, as you watch it go through let me get it going quick try not to make this video as short as possible guys but there's so much to talk about it's unbelievable now as you see it quickly you see that the, that burst of air starts everything down there in central america it gets everything going gets everything ramped up you get a system going through it is it is on very fast you get a system going through you get our system coming through from the gulf the one i spoke about before then you get a third one in the northeast again so there's that little spark up as that leaves i don't know if they're going to name that but there goes ours right out to atlantic and then they got the other one that forms up and that one goes out so that's, that's something else so we got to wait and see but it looks like a possible just a possible that we could have a nor'easter problem for the northeast so that, that won't be a great thing i know people are like hey couldn't be getting some rainfall no it won't be snow though because i know you're hoping on snow and that don't mean that it's going to be snow uh, but as far as the snow does go let's take a look and let me show you what i'm talking about as far as where you can possibly get for maine uh, as well as as new brunswick now as the system moves through on the 8th is when it when it will hit towards Maine, and the, on the 9th is when it hits towards New Brunswick. Now, the rain could be knocking this out, so I don't know how long this is going to stay. But the first one, you get up to two, almost three inches of, uh, of snowfall. And then when this goes up towards uh, New Brunswick, the snowfall could get real intense, up to six inches in some spots. I even saw a seven right there six inches right there and, and the rest of the green is four inches of snowfall so that's that's a good bit of snowfall but it's not a whole bunch but it's something i mean it is better than having nothing uh that's that's for sure i know i don't know about y'all but i'd love some snow now i'm gonna put this loop on for you that way you can see it move and i'm gonna slow it down some for you that way it won't be so fast and just zipping through okay now I'm going to play this for you. This is 10 meter winds. You take a look for yourself. What do you think these storms are going to do? Because it looks like we have three. That's what I'm counting. And if it is three, it would be gamma, delta, and epsilon. So quite a change. But this seems a little more uh, promising compared to what we've been having with the hurricane strength and i hope the hurricane strength does go away please tell me in the comments if you think this will be more truth than than that hurricane strength because even uh, the other models are showing multiple systems and we don't need those to act up now yesterday we went over genesis 16 today is genesis 17 let me move this where you can see it even in the gulf Time and date is on the top left. I know if some of you are using your phones. Sorry about that. No, you're not going to be able to see that. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and, thou be, and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face and God talked with him saying, as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of my nations, of many nations, sorry. Neither shall thy name 
any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, in their generations for an everlasting covenant. To be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give thee, I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger. All the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou, and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep between me and you, and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man ch child in your generations. He that is born in the house, or bought with money, or in, of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must must needs be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man, child, whose flesh of, of his foreskin is not circumcised, that shall be cut off from the people. He hath broken my covenant. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. Shall and I will bless her and, and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her. And she shall, shall be a mother of nations. Kings of people shall be of her. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall I, shall I child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety-nine years old bear? I'm sorry, the Sarah that is 90 years old, bear. And Abraham said unto God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. With Sarah shall bear unto thee, and at this time, the set time, in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham, and Abraham took Ishmael his son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were, were bought with his money. Every male among, among the men of Abraham's house and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the, same, in the self same day as God had said unto him. And Abraham was ninety years old and nine when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. And Ishmael his son was thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. In the self same day was Abraham circumcised and Ishmael his son and all the men of his house, born in, in the house, and bought with money of the stranger, were circumcised with him. Amen. Well, God bless you all today. I hope you all have a, a great Sunday. It is beautiful weather out there for the most part. Tell me what you think about these storms. Do we have three tropical storms coming? Do we have a nor'easter? Do we have this snowfall possible blizzard in the northeast? Tell me what you think. Y'all have a great day. God bless you. All glory does go to God.